Hey friends, last week Katie and I announced this open door that God's given us in Southeast Asia for the greatest journey. And I want to give you a quick testimony about how he did that. We were supposed to go last fall to Southeast Asia, a particular country with Steve Jones and his ministry, Hope Has a Name. You can go to hopehasname.org and see what he does. Uh, we wound up in ICU with our daughter at the very time that that trip was supposed to be taking place. So Steve went ahead and went, downloaded the videos that we have on YouTube for The Greatest Journey to his iPad, took some course guides, walked a handful of pastors through the, pro the healing process, and during that weekend, a couple came to him from a neighboring country. These are business owners, church planners, missionaries. Uh, th this is a couple that Steve has known for quite a while. And they said to him, three or four months ago, we asked the Lord, God, we need help in our marriage. You've got to do something. Uh, we, they have all this pressure on them from business and ministry and going across borders. And they've got a young family. And you can imagine the pressure that's on a marriage with all of that going on. You guys have walked through it. Katie and I know that kind of pressure. Well, during that weekend, God showed them, showed them things about their past, things that had never been healed or reconciled. They walked through a healing process. And then God did a deep work, not only in them and in their marriage, but called them out of business into full-time ministry that very weekend. They came back to Steve and they said, Steve, we have to have this ministry in our country. Our pastors and leaders and business leaders, they have to know what to do with sin in their life, with brokenness, with unforgiveness, bitterness, pain, so that we can be unified as the body of Christ and grow the church effectively. And so the other pastors there echoed the same, and God then began to open this door just as a result of just a few families getting healing and reconciliation. What's so exciting to Katie and I is that what God's been doing here that we've watched through this ministry for over a decade, God wants to now do in lots of other nations. And there are many of you and there are other ministries that do things like this, and you've seen the same results. Uh, I'm just so excited that God is using us to be able to do this, to be carriers of the gospel of Jesus Christ in practical ways that helps people reconcile the pain of their past and become effective leaders. Uh, thanks for partnering with us. We've raised over a thousand dollars already towards plane tickets. We've got another thousand to raise here in about the next week and a half, and then a few thousand more to cover the, the cost of the entire trip. Um, if you want to continue to partner with us, go to freedomlifetoday.org. You can hit the donate button or scroll down to the contact form and submit that. Let us know that you're praying for this trip. We need covering for this. There's already been a tremendous amount of resistance and just a fight uh, to do this. And so we would love to hear from you. You can also email me, ben at freedomlifetoday.org. Thank you guys so much for your prayers, your partnership. It's encouraging. We'll give more updates soon as they happen.